Okay, so what I'm going to quickly do now is I've got all of these cut out, but uh, I need to drill a hole through it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each one and sand down just the one side ever so slightly, I don't know if you can see there, so I can center punch them and drill it. So I've got a nice even space to center punch and drill. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. I'm going to take each one and just sand off the one side. And there we go. See if it will focus on this. Just ever so slightly sanded it down. Not too big either, so it will be about the same size as the hole that I drill into it. Okay, moving on to the center punch. So I'm going to take that flat area and then face it up. And in my anvil, I've got uh, dimples that I've got there for when riveting. So I'm going to put this in. I'm going to place the center punch and there we go just a small little punch in the center of that flattened area there we go
Okay, so now comes the tricky part, um, drilling the holes through it. So I've taken a piece of wood and I've uh, drilled out a, a hole here to seat the head into it on the side. So that will hold it stable for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each one. And like I said, this is where it can be quite tricky. Hold it into pliers and then I'm going to drill. Be careful about any drift you've got on it. And there we go. Got my nice hole all the way through this is a tricky part this is where you can really mess up all of them so All done. I got all of them cut out, quite happy with that, uh, and I didn't ruin any of them, which is very good. There was a close one, but uh, I've fixed it out as it was going. So yeah, there's all uh, 17 of them done. Okay, so what I've done now is I've got all the reveals riveted up onto the helmet. Now, doesn't that look stunning? Right? I know it looks a bit protruding now, yes it does, but then once the uh, leather's on you'll see it will look a lot better. Um, I didn't show me riveting on because it's just like norm riveting a normal uh, rivet essentially. But what I have here is I made myself a little tool here. Um, this has a one degree taper on it. Um, reason for this is that when you rivet these reveals, there's a good chance that you can crush the, um, the opening. So by taking this uh, tool, I fit it into there we go. I fit it in there and then when I rivet I can actually guide it to where the angle must be and it prevents it from um, crushing closed and because it's a taper um, I can pull it out again I have used nails before but because it's if you use a nail the same size as the hole you tend to crimp the nail inside so it's difficult to take out but now with the taper um, if you crimp it, crimp it on you can still just slide it up so that's the tool I made to do this and so yeah so there it looks so far I've also put the chin straps in and next part would be to fit the um, leather strapping on it let's go from there <laughs> 